This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. everyone, this is Michelle Fern, your host on Best Bets for Pets for Pet Life Radio. And today, well, we're going to talk about something I am really jealous of that my fur kids have. I love this product. We're going to be right back. You know that feeling when you go to clean the litter box and it's a complete disaster? Yeah, we've got you covered. Introducing World's Best Cat Litter Zero Mess, the advanced litter that gives you two times better clumping and more odor control with less litter. Zero Mess combines the concentrated power of corn with super absorbent plant fibers. Translation, scoop once and you're done. Find it at a pet store near you and save $2. Visit www.saveonworldsbest.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. I'd like to introduce Al Levy. He's the CEO of Yogi Bo. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay. Well, Yogi Bo, we're going to talk about a little bit more, but to tell my audience what we're talking about, this is the most comfortable, amazing pet bed I've ever seen, and I've had many on the show. My crew fights over it, but let's, before we get into the details, what is Yogi Bo? How did it come about? All right, so Yogi Bo is kind of like a whole lifestyle of awesomeness. We, uh, we started with our new generation of bean bags in 2009, nine years ago. They're very different, both for people and animals, in the way that they completely conform to your body with no pressure points. It started actually when my wife was pregnant. We were looking for something she can sleep on her belly, and this is how the idea came about. Along the years, we uh, we saw that, or we received a lot of feedback from pet owners that the pets take over the yogi bowls because they find it the most comfortable in the house, the most comfortable thing in the house to lay on. Uh, so we've been getting more and more emails. You got to come up with pet beds. And uh, we did introduce pet beds like three or four years ago, but they weren't quite right. And we worked in the past couple of years to develop really like a phenomenal pet bed that dogs and cats can have the same experience that the adults have. And this is how we came up with the doggy bow last year. So it's called doggy bow for the pet beds? Yeah. Okay. I like that. So the doggy bow is filled with uh, five beads. It's our combination of fibers and beads. It's super soft and still body conforming. And then we have the special poly cotton spandex fabric that it's super cozy. It's breathable. Uh, it's also very paws and claws friendly. So the combination of the both uh, gives them really like, you know, wrap it around them and they feel super cozy like the adults or, or people. <laughs> what? What I thought was so different is Best Bets for Pets has been on the air of over, let's see, we started 2000, almost eight years, I believe. And I've had a lot of beds on the show and and, um, different, you know, levels of popularity and so forth. But this one is really different. When I unpacked it in the studio, I noticed that my senior dog, Mr. Z, sat on it and he didn't want to get up. And then when he had to go to the bathroom, we took the dogs, you know, out to do their business. One of the cats went on, didn't want to get up. When she got hungry, another cat went on, and it went like this. It's in, you know, in cycles because they were they were kind of fighting over it, but they wanted it to be their own, so they weren't sharing. And I was surprised because I didn't think the cats would be interested, and I didn't think the dogs would would want to be on it that long it's just it's and and one dog is senior one dog is not so senior but you know he's about eight and the cats are different ages from a year to eight years but they all just love it they love it why why do you find that and i'm sure you've heard so much about it from pet owners why do you is it that the pets like it so much 
Yeah, so we try to take the same experience that people had with Outwear Yogi Bows, like the new generation of beanbags I was mentioning, and translate it to the pet beds. You know, we've been working, redeveloping our beanbags for years. And what, you know, obviously pets don't express their opinion out loud, but people do. So one of the things that people love the product so much is the fact that it takes all the, it has no pressure points. And you sit on it, it just takes all the pressure off your body. It wraps you and, um, you know, once you sit on it, you really don't want to sit on anything else. And we had more and more, the more people try it, the more they don't want to get off it. And we try to do the same thing for the pet bits, create this combination of something that takes the pressure off your body and make it really, really comfortable that you want to get, you don't want to get off it. Very true. Very true. I was thinking I want to get them off of it and I want it for my bed, although it's not quite big enough for a people bed. But let's talk about this. You said that the new generation of beanbags. So some of us that are older than 20 remember that there were beanbags way back (laughs) that they were comfortable, but they weren't like so comfortable. How do the the beans in the Yogi Bow and Doggy Bow bags, how, how do they different? Yeah, so it's it's a combination of stretchy and durable fabric and almost frictionless beads that are much smaller and finer than the regular bean bags that creates this body conforming feeling. With uh, the pet bands, with the doggy bow, uh, the feeling is even slightly softer than our regular bean bags in the way that um, they can lay down on it all the time and still being uh, very soft and keep its shape for a very, very long time. So the filling in the doggy bow and the pet beds, called, we called it the Phi beads. It's our combination of fibers, polyester fibers, and beads mixed together to still give the body conforming, and, but at the same time having something soft and nice. Also, I know besides being just, you know, a nice bed for the pets to lay on, it's therapeutic. Mr. Z had not that long ago fascibular old dog disease. I guess it really makes me realize he's he's getting a little old there. And while he was recovering, you know, it was hard for him to stand up, hard for him to walk. And I noticed he was on the bed. He wouldn't really let anybody else use it. He was just really like the bed because I think it was comforting to them. Have you found that a lot of people that have purchased the bed for dogs that were maybe temporarily ill or had a, you know, an ailment or something have had good results? Absolutely. And like I said, I mean, pets and people, they're alike in so many things. And, you know, as, as I said before, uh, we have amazing testimonials for, from people, how it helped them with their chronic pains and physical disabilities and how Yogi Bows helped them rehab if they have a really bad back. And then we started getting letters uh, from people that dogs, when they're, like you said, they got really old and have some physical disabilities, lay down on Yogi Bows and didn't want to lay down on their own bed. And we, we kept hearing more and more how people, you know, need to buy another Yogi Bow because their pets took over. So this is why we've been passionate so much about having the Doggy Bow. I know with my own dog, you know, we bought her before we had the Doggy Bow. We, we bought her three different beds and she didn't want to sleep on anything else other than the Yogi Bow. So it's just, um, you know, the body of the human nature, you know, people and pets currently work in the same way. They both like this body conforming feeling. And uh, this is how we translated the beanbag or our new generation of beanbags into the pet beds. We talked about, I know that there's, we, you have the doggy bow for pet beds, yogi bow. What are the different products that you have? Yeah, so we have the, the beanbag category and then we have a lot of pillows. Our sleepy bow, it's an amazing sleeping pil- pillow that is very similar in, with the filling and fabric to the doggy bow. It's just phenomenal pillow to sleep on. We have blankets. We have aromatherapy products that also people use for pets every once in a while to kind of like warm them up. It's heatable blankets, weighted blankets. We have everything that makes you cozy and comfortable. Super nice slippers and 
different comfort accessories like laptop tray and tablet pillows and amazing ergonomic travel pillows. So everything that will make both people and pets very comfy. And also for people, you have beanbag chairs, the Yogi Bo chairs. What do you right. Call? Yeah. So our most popular product is the Yogi Bo Max. It's something that turns into a chair, recliner, a bed, a couch, all in one piece, but you can stand up in a corner. It's very ergonomic, uh, very practical, very versatile. It's been our flag product for the last uh, almost nine years. It sounds wonderful, especially for a guest, except your guests might get so comfortable they don't want to leave. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, it's only for the guests you don't want to, them to leave. <laughs> what sizes for pets? What sizes does the doggy bow come in? So there are three different sizes, kind of like standard sizes in the market, small, medium, and large. We're thinking of making a new model, like an extra large for the really big, big guys. But uh, we found that so far, those three sizes serve most of the pets in the, uh, out there. And, you know, we're talking about, you know, that it's doggy bow. But like I said, my cat crew loves the bed, too. And they all have claws. They're, none are declawed. And they all have I've had no problems with anything. I mean, Miss Molly stretches out and just like lays there and she's in heaven. And she's my youngest on the crew. She's a little um, what, like one in a couple months. So it seems like it's kind of, I don't know, maybe cat proof too, as far as cats Yeah, absolutely. Are. Absolutely. So what makes them different and special, the fabric is so stretchy. Normally, cats and dogs, they like the resistance, and the fact that it's so stretchy, they don't pull it, and that's what makes it paws and claws friendly. We got the same testimonials from like people who own the Yogi Bo. I can say about when we got my dog, she was a puppy, three months old from the shelter, and we brought her home. She destroyed our couch in <laughs> a day, and the Yogi Bo's all survived because of the paws and claws friendly characteristics. Well, it's, and it's extremely durable. I mean, with five members of the crew sleeping on it for months now, taking turns, I've had no problems with it at all, and they just love it. Are people able to, are you able to wash it, or do you spot clean it? Absolutely. The cover is machine washable. There's another layer underneath, so you can take off the cover and wash it. Well, the Yogi Bow, the Doggy Bow are, I think there's a lot of people saying, I want one, I need one. This is, it's well worth the investment. It's not a high price and you get so much more for, for your, so much for your value. Where can people find it? So they can find it on our website at uh, yogibo.com. That's Y-O-G-I-B-O.com. Uh, there are all of our products there. And under beanbag chairs, there are also dog beds, and they can find the doggy bow there. Okay, wonderful. And um, as everyone knows that's listening, you can always go to Best Bets for Pets on Pet Life Radio. Look on this show page, and there'll be a link to the site, as well as a picture of the doggy bow bed. Ayel, thank you so much for coming on Best Bets for Pets and telling us about the yogi bow and the doggy bow. And wonderful product. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. And we're super excited to have more dogs and cats and other pets feel super comfy. Wow. I'm telling you, if you have not tried a Yogi Bow or Doggy Bow and your dog needs a bed, or if you just want to give your dog or cat the best bed out there that I'm telling you, my crew's nuts over it. You have to check out Yogi Bo and check out their pet beds. And maybe they're people beds too. They're people um, chairs and all. They have some great products. I'd like to thank my crew, which was Nikki, Mr. Z, Charlotte, Dennis, and Molly that all tried the Doggy Bow pet bed and they still have little fights over it. I'd like to thank um, my guest, Eyal, from Yogi Bow for being on the show, my producer, Mark Winner, for making me and my guests sound great, and for everyone listening. Now stay tuned. Don't get up. We have another great show coming up. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back, right after we kibble a little with our sponsors. Does your dog itch, scratch, stink, or shed like crazy? Come to Dynavite for help. Order a 90-day supply of Dynavite. Everything. 
we tried failed except the Dynavite. Pick up two bottles of Super Mega Fish Oil. Get the third bottle free. Packed with omega-3, DHA, and EPA fatty acids. Super Mega is great for your dog's immune system, healthy skin, and soft, shiny fur. Dogs love it. Try Super Omega Fish Oil. Buy two. Get one free. At Dynavite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Dot com. <laughs> Hello, pet parents. This is Michelle Fern, host of Best Pets for Pets on Pet Life Radio. Okay, we all have them. They're nasty little things, and we want to get rid of them. What in the world am I talking about? I'd like to introduce Julia Wallace. She is the Director of Sales and Marketing for Dynamic Solutions. And welcome, Julia. Thank you very much. I'm so excited to be a part of your show. Well, I'm excited to have you, and I know everyone out there is listening. I'm talking about, like, just something very obscure, and what we're talking about for everyone out there is flies and bugs, and, you know, I don't know where you live except maybe Antarctica, and we might have some listeners there, not very many, but a couple, but anywhere, there's always some creepy crawlies or flies or something, and you have this great product. It's the Fly Light by Dynatrap that traps insects. That's correct. So let's take a step back. What else does Dynatrap make besides the Fly Lights? Actually, our main product is the Dynatrap Insect and Mosquito Trap, which is a outdoor and indoor solution for killing mosquitoes and other flying insects. We did create the Dynatrap Flylight. Um, it's an exclusive indoor solution for attracting and killing flying insects because we do realize that throughout the year, as people are opening, closing their doors, um, letting their pets out, going for a walk, that you have insects going in and out the doors you know, year-round, even in colder environments. So we wanted to have something indoors that could attract, trap, and kill insects also. Um, So we created the fly light. But we do a full suite of solutions for flying insects that are safe. We don't use any pesticides in any of our products. Very simple to use and silent. No zapping, nothing. It's so true. Whenever there is a fly buzzing around the studio, it's not, not where we record, but there's sometimes buzzing in. It's when you know, people come in and out or when the fur kids are going in and out. And well, I used to think that's what my cats were for. (laughs) Sorry for all you feline friends out there. But they're better at, um, unfortunately, at finding lizards, not not so much the flies, you know, because they, they can only jump so high. So you can't use your cats for this. And what I love also is that your products don't use pesticides because mm-hmm. not only are people sensitive, but as as we kind of, I don't know, maybe the pet industry is becoming more and more humanized in a sense. You know, we're, we're mm-hmm. taking better care of our fur kids. We're calling them fur kids. We're feeding them human-grade treats and food and and using a lot of human-grade products on them. So why would we want to use a pesticide that could irritate them? Their systems are a little different than ours. You know, even for people, why would you want something toxic in your house? And think about, I think all women can relate to this. Think about when you get ready in the morning and you put on some hairspray and you put it on. Most of it goes on your hair, but you can feel it kind of coming down and resting on your arms. You can feel it on the floor. You know, it's going everywhere. And I think when people are using pesticides in their homes, spray, just you think you're spraying it one place, but it's drifting. And it can drift into your pet bedding. It can drift into your pet's food. So you really don't want to use pesticides indoors. Very true. And I've noticed, I I, um, had another show not that long ago, and 
it was, I think it was on, it wasn't even on Best Bets for Pets. It was on Catitude, my other show. And we were talking about how, have you noticed that the flea bombs have sort of gone away? Can you imagine what we used to do? We used to set off this thing that had fumes, that toxic stuff all over the house. And we covered some things mm-hmm. up, but not everything. And mm-hmm. that was just, supposedly it was okay for humans. Who knows? But I don't see them anymore. I think they just went away. I mean, in this day and age, who would think to, to flea bomb your house? No no one. And I'm sure many of the people listening to your show are familiar with fleas and know that they can transmit diseases when they bite your pets or even when they're ingested. And same thing with mosquitoes. Heartworm is transmitted by mosquitoes and, you know, that can happen to your cats, to your dogs. So it's great to have something to help protect your pets from these insects that are coming in and out of the house with them. Some great points. Let's talk about the Dynatrap, the fly light insect trap. It's a very cool design. It's very sleek and it's very classy looking. It almost looks like a sculpture in a sense. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. the most beautiful night, one of the most beautiful nightlights I've ever seen. Um, and I, I know it's not a nightlight. It's a fly trap, but it also works as a nightlight. I mm-hmm. it just what I love is that it plugs into the wall. So you don't have to worry about batteries. How mm-hmm. does it trap flies and other, you know, insects? Well, you mentioned the nightlight and... The Dynatrap fly light has a light. It also has a trap to glow technology. So it has a very nice blue glow that comes from it. And this is at the exact wavelength that flies and mosquitoes, other flying insects, are attracted to. So especially at night when you have all the lights off and you can see that blue glow, the insects are attracted to the unit. When they're attracted to the unit, on the back side of it, the side that you don't see because it does have a decorative aluminum cover on the front, there is a sticky tech glue card. So once they're attracted, they get stuck on that glue card and they die. But you don't see anything from the front. It looks just like a maybe a sconce that you have plugged in or, like you said, just a, a nice nightlight. So it's really the heat from that light bulb, the attractor glow that will attract them, and then they're stuck in the sticky card. You know, it's such a simple concept, especially when you explain it so well, and it makes you think, but it, but it's more, it's much more than, you know, the fact that it has the sticky card is great because there's nothing emitted or anything toxic that is that comes off of it. So Right, absolutely it, no pesticides on that. Right. Except mm-hmm. for the flies, but, you know, I'm not a fly parent, so I, I don't care about them. So, but... <laughs> exactly. But that was really interesting when you said that there's the wavelength of the light is what the flies are attracted to. I mean, who knew? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who would know that, you know, way back, too, they had, like, sticky paper that you could put on things and supposedly flies would come to it. I remember trying it. It never worked. But this is not just that. It has a special light. There's this, you guys have done your research, you know, you know Mm -hmm. what attracts the flies and the whole system. So it's that simple. Just plug it in and let it do its work. Exactly. And we do offer the fly light in two colors. So it really goes with any decor. We offer white and then of course we offer black, which as you know, goes with just about everything. So we've got the two different ones. Now, one thing that I really like about the fly light is for people that don't have a lot of outlets, maybe they're in a smaller apartment or they're in an older home that they don't have a lot of outlets, we do offer what we're calling pass-through power on the fly light. So when you plug it into your outlet, you can use a fly light that has two AC outlets on the side of it, so you still have access to that outlet. So, for example, I have one in my kitchen right now close to, you know, where I have my fruit bowl with my bananas and things like that. And I've got my coffee pot plugged into it. I've got my coffee grinder plugged into it. And it basically looks just like a nightlight, but it's killing the fruit flies and any other flies that I have. So it's great for that. We also have one that has AC outlets on the side 
and USB outlets. So you can charge your phone, you can plug in appliances, um, so you don't lose those outlets, which if you want to, like I think a garage would be a great place to put this or your pantry, your walk-in laundry room. You know, oftentimes people only have one outlet there. So it's great to have access to additional AC outlets through the unit too. I think that is such a clever idea because, and it's so true. I, I, I don't think it's a make or break, you know, that I think mm-hmm. people, if they, they have a need for the fly light, they'll just give up an outlet. If I had, you know, fly situation and I'll give up the outlet, but I would have to unplug it and plug it back. And that's kind of an inconvenience. I've never, mm-hmm. very rarely do I see where the manufacturer thinks about the consumer maybe not having as many outlets in certain locations and adds them into the product for you. And mm-hmm. US, yeah, mm-hmm. right. And USB ports too, which we all need these days because everybody's charging something. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What do you do with the sticky paper once you have a lot of flies? And also, you mentioned some good places indoors. Is it possible to use this on, say, a partial, like a patio? I think if it was protected from the rain, you could use it there. I would definitely use one in the garage, but it, you wouldn't be able to put it out in the rain. Because we're down south, so many, many people down here have a lot of flying insects, and they but they do have mm-hmm. um, an outdoor covered area. So yeah, yeah. Th- um, that's good to have, too. You could use it for that, or, of course, as I mentioned, we also have the Dynatrap Insect and Mosquito Trap, which is a good solution for the outdoor area. And especially if you have your pets out in the backyard, you know, having that Dynatrap in the backyard helps keep them safe, and it helps keep you safe at the same time and lets you enjoy your outdoor environment. It's just very clever and such a great idea. Where mm-hmm. can people find these? And I know you have one for uh, just, you know, flying insects, one for flying insects and mosquitoes. I don't think mm-hmm. it's possible to invent one for fleas yet, right? Well, you would. I think you would catch fleas with the fly light because they are attracted to the heat. So I think it is possible that you could also trap some fleas with this. We've had the fly light in development for about two years, and it's interesting. We're just getting anecdotal evidence of some of the things that we've caught with it, and people are coming into my office all the time with their glue cards. I've got one sitting here full of box elder bugs and just a variety of insects that we're catching with this. So your day is, hi, Julia, how you doing? Here's my bugs that I caught today. <laughs> exactly. Yes, it's it's a little strange, I know, but that's what we do in this business. Right. And then, well, I don't even know how you, ide- how you go about identifying which bug is which, but at least it's only, you know, flying insects. Could be worse, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> could be, but we won't go there. I think it's such a great idea and great for pets. And people probably don't think of the fact that it's so important to make sure that your pets, we protect them with medication or an internal and external for fleas and so forth. But flies are a nuisance. You'd never know what they're carrying. Mosquitoes, you don't know what mm-hmm. they're carrying. And they're just a pain. Right. Especially for pet parents, I'm sure your pets don't like them. Your fur kids don't like them either. So the fly light insect and the fly light insect and mosquito trap are both great. Where can people find them? Well, of course, you can find them at dinatrap.com. We're also available online at homedepot.com. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond carries our product. You'll also see it on QVC. So quite a few major national retailers Ace Hardware, True Value Stores. And are you able to get new sticky paper? All of the retailers that we sell the Dynatrap Fly Light to will carry the Sticky Tech glue cards along with the replacement light bulbs. I found that I just leave mine plugged in all the time. And so the light bulb would have to be replaced probably about once every four months. This is definitely something you can let run, you know, year-round. But we do have the Sticky Tech uh, glue cards and the replacement bulbs available at our website, and all of our retail partners carry those also. 
Okay, and and all my listeners know that there's always information at PetLifeRadio.com. Go to Best Bets for Pets and go to this episode, and there'll be a link to the website for Dynatrap, and there'll be a picture of the product. So you, if you're driving or exercising or everything, don't worry. We have all the info for you at PetLifeRadio.com. Julia, thank you so much for coming on Best Bets for Pets and telling us about the Dynatrap Flylight Insect Trap. It is a wonderful product for not only for the pet parent, but for your fur kid too. Well, thank you very much for having me. We really appreciate it. What a wonderful product. You have those pesky flies and they annoy your fur kid no more. And thanks to my crew that uh, helped test the Dynatrap fly like insect trap that was let's see everybody was involved in this one mr z nikki molly charlotte and dennis they all tested out the fly light because i let them all into the uh their extended play area (laughs) and um it was great it's this works fabulous it's a great product and also, of course, thanks to my guest. Thanks to my producer, Mark Winter, for making me and my guests sound great. And thanks to everyone listening. We have so many more interesting, cool products coming up. So keep tuning in to Best Bets for Pets on Pet Life Radio. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs>